Hey YouTubers, what's going on? Bruno in the house. Hey, I'm just here to do another app review for y'all. Okay, I'm going to review today a app that deals with contact management. And if your app, native app in your iPhone is just not cutting for you, you've got 100 plus people in there and you need to organize a little better, head over to the iTunes store and check out Groups. It is drag and drop contact management, group email, smart contact, and filters, and map contact it's compatible with the iphone 3.0 and later and ipod touch and it supports uh, five languages here english arabic french german and polish now what this does that your native app doesn't do is that it gives you the ability to send mass emails it doesn't support mass text and mms or sms you know just just for the email portion and it's currently 499 at the app store and it is rated four stars in its current version. And also the drag and drop organizing is really smooth. All right, and the smart group filters, they're pretty cool too. And I'm gonna show you that as soon as we get into this app, all right? Just a second now. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this application. I'm gonna turn on the iPhone. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you can see what the little icon looks like. It's over here on the lower left corner, groups. All right, and I replaced that with my native contact application because you can still get to the native one from the phone okay so let's go ahead and click on that it's gonna open up nice and quick and I am using the iPhone 3GS I'm not sure if that makes a big difference on the load time but I just need to mention that and it automatically comes in here to all and that's the way it shows up okay and you can see I have 202 contacts that I'm currently managing all right and I've already created my little smart groups here a distribution list whatever you will and pretty much um, organize them to tabs you can change the colors uh, they already have some they have some preset ones in there for you. You can choose to keep those or take those away. So let's come down here to menu. Okay, in menu, okay, there's the three options at the top there. By name, okay, by count, or manually. I go to manually, all right. And in here, I could decide whether or not I want these filters on or off. Okay, and you can also set a color. If you need to change the color or whatever, you can do that right there. Okay, you can also move the group up or down depending on your preference. All right, and down here, all the ones in purple are the are the preset ones. That I'm not sure if you can see that text just because of the background and the lighting. Okay. But it pretty much, I'll read them to you here. There's birthdays, uh, business, so, and of course, when it when it's a filter, those put them as a business contact or a business phone number, or you give them a nickname, or if they don't have an email, or if they don't have an image or a picture, or a, not on the map anywhere. These are this is how the program recognizes your contacts and filters them, and you can choose to keep those filters on or off and I've got all of these off because I do not need all of that cluttering up because I do use this very frequently okay so just to show you that you do have a lot of options to organize this and then the coolest thing here is the drag and drop so let's say I want to add somebody to my favorites well I just go ahead and drag that V card right on over this is not supported in landscape view, only in portrait. So hopefully they've got that coming on a fix here with the next update. So the app has an internal dial pad. You just go ahead and access it right there. Okay, say so we don't want that. Cancel back out. And also when you click on a contact, and they'll have more than a few numbers. All right, let's get somebody here who I know has a lot of numbers. Okay, so pretty much you can do everything from within the application itself you don't have to exit out of it pull up the email pull up text pull up your phone etc everything is done within the app so it's all internal so, and here's some more group settings I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate for you a mass mass email all that's the better one to do okay mail group to all it's gonna pull everybody in my contact list who has an email and then from here, I can choose to take people on or off of that group, okay? But you, like I said, you can create your own distribution list and send, all right? So we're going to go ahead and compose. 
and then it's switching to mail. So now it's going to the mail app. And uh, you can see here it's got 54 recipients and it will send to every single person in there. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I hope this information has been helpful and useful to you. And if there's any apps out there that you want to see me review, just go ahead and send me a message and I'll get it to you. All right. And uh, please subscribe, rate five stars, and leave your comments in the comment section below. I appreciate it. Y'all take care.